Thailand's Songkran Festival went next level when the Royal Thai Police rolled out AI Police Cyborg 1.0, a RoboCop-style bot with 360-degree cameras and real-time facial recognition AI. Over in California Labs, Disney Research introduced a humanoid robot that mirrors your shyness or excitement on the spot, and in Beijing, 21 bipedal bots lined up against 10,000 humans in a half marathon, finishing more than an hour behind. Meanwhile, Vegas is gearing up for Autonomous, the world's first fully AI-operated hotel, and Okado's robotic arms are already packing over 30 million groceries a year using computer vision, reinforcement learning, and diffusion-based generative AI. So let's talk about it. All right, let's kick things off in central Thailand where the Songkran Festival turns the city into a massive water-throwing extravaganza for the Thai New Year. On April 17, 2025, the Royal Thai Police unveiled Pol Kol Nakhon Patham Plod Pai, which literally means Nakhon Patham is safe. But it's not a person, it's a RoboCop-style AI police cyborg 1.0. Picture a towering uniformed robot officer standing guard on Tansen Road in the Muang district of Nakhon Patham province, decked out in the same dark blue garb you'd see on any local cop. This thing is stationary for now, but it's anything but passive. It's fitted with smart 360-degree cameras that don't just roll tape, they feed live footage into an AI system. That system pulls in video from nearby CCTV and even drone surveillance, then runs it all through onboard video analytics chips. Everything loops back to the province's command and control center, so if anything sketchy happens, human officers get real-time alerts. And, like, these aren't basic motion detectors. We're talking facial recognition that can flag individuals on a blacklist, suspect tracking that follows you through the crowd, and advanced searches based on, get this, clothing color, body type, even gender. It can also spot blades, wooden sticks, and things that look like weapons, but it smartly ignores water guns because, well, that's the whole point of Songkran, right? Last but not least, it monitors behavior for anything violent or disruptive, fighting, shoving, that sort of thing. This project is a collaboration between Provincial Police Region 7, Nakhon Pathom Provincial Police, and the Nakhon Pathom Municipality. According to the RTP's Facebook post, they're hoping this marks a new era of tech-enhanced public safety at big events. And it's not alone. Back in March, Shenzhen, China rolled out humanoid patrol robots that can interact with pedestrians and follow voice commands. So it looks like Asia is in a full-blown AI policing arms race. Now, let's switch to Disney research. On April 13th, 2025, they introduced a humanoid robot that reads and reflects human feelings in real time. Imagine a little Wally looking character, but with a face and body language that shows shyness, excitement, friendliness, all in real time. And real time is the key here. As you interact, it picks up your cues and mirrors your emotion almost instantly. Under the hood, Disney's team uses a two-part AI model, a diffusion process for smooth, continuous motions, think waving or leaning in, and a classifier for discrete actions like saying hello or gesturing a thumbs up. During training, a human operator remotely guided the robot's responses using social intuition. If someone approaches shyly, the operator makes the robot shy back. Those guided interactions get recorded, fed into the AI, and boom, you've got an autonomous machine that can emulate natural gestures on its own. But perhaps the real star is Newton, an open source physics engine built by Disney Research with NVIDIA and Google DeepMind. Newton addresses the sim to real gap by simulating ultra-realistic virtual environments where robots learn everything from handling soft objects to balancing on uneven ground before entering the real world. It's got differentiable physics so the robot can optimize moves by simulating outcomes. It's extensible so you can teach robots to interact with food, fabric, whatever. And it runs on Envia's warp tech, making simulations up to 100 times faster than the old school. Disney's already using Newton to supercharge its robotic characters, like the Star Wars-inspired BDX droids they showed at NVIDIA's GTC keynote earlier this year. Those bots not only act in theme park performances, but can backflip, play out scenes, you name it. Kyle Laughlin, SVP of Walt Disney Imagineering R&D, says, They're building a new generation of robotic storytellers, machines that don't just assist, but actually connect with people, make them laugh, maybe even tear up a little. 
and yeah, they can pull off a perfect side flip acrobatics move that would put some gymnasts to shame. Next, we're in Beijing on April 19th, 2025 for the world's first human vs humanoid half marathon. So a 21 kilometer race, about 13 miles, winding through the E-Town district. There were 10,000 human runners and 21 bipedal robots from companies like DroidVP, Notix Robotics, and the Beijing Innovation Center of Human Robotics. Heights ranged from under 1.2 meters to nearly 1.8 meters. Some even sported boxing gloves and headbands for style points. Every so often, humans hit a water station. The robots got tuned up at aid stations with fresh batteries and technical tweaks from their engineers. And uh, let's just say the robots didn't stand much of a chance. The winner among humans clocked in at 1 hour, 11 minutes, 7 seconds. The fastest robot, Tiangong Ultra, rolled through the finish line in 2 hours and 40 minutes, over an hour and a half behind. Others fell over right at the start. One bot collapsed and lay motionless before an engineer picked it up. Another slammed into a barrier, taking its handler down with it. Organizers made it clear it was more of a tech demo than a competition. They never expected the robots to win. Alan Fern, a robotics professor at Oregon State University, pointed out that while these demos highlight feats of agility, running, dancing, they don't really speak to practical intelligence or useful work. But China's government is pouring investments into AI and robotics as a way to drive economic growth and catch up with the US. You know, creating new engines of industry and all that. Still, not everyone's down on the spectacle. Tang Jin, CTO of Tiangong's lab, says the focus is shifting from flashy stunts to real-world applications. Industrial tasks, factory work, even household chores. And He Shu, a local AI engineer watching from the sidelines, said, I feel I'm witnessing the evolution of robots and AI. So while the bots may not break any speed records, the event makes it obvious. Bipedal robots are evolving, and we're only at the beginning. Okay, let's switch gears now to Sin City, Las Vegas, where something wild is about to open. Autonomous, the world's first hotel fully powered by AI. Written up on April 19th, 2025 by Bibiana Palacios, this place will boast 550 rooms, each a generous 856 square feet. Every suite is tricked out with artificial intelligence systems that learn your preferences, like how you take your morning coffee, and even generate a personalized avatar during digital check-in. There are two patented AI engines at work here. First is Firo, the reservation engine that uses optimization algorithms to allocate rooms and let you customize your stay with different setups, views, gaming consoles, whatever floats your boat. Then there's KEE, which acts as your digital room key and virtual assistant. No front desk, no receptionist, just tap your phone or talk to the room, and KEE handles everything from unlocking the door to ordering extra towel. Don't worry if you miss the human touch, Autonomous has you covered. Guests who want old school service can opt out of some tech features and get a more traditional face-to-face -face concierge experience. The hotel is slated to open in May 2025 with base rates starting around $300 per night. And if you're wondering how AI like this even works, Autonomous breaks it down in plain English. AI systems absorb tons of data, images, text, voice, then use algorithms to spot patterns, make decisions, and improve over time. They describe four development stages. Reactive AI, which has no memory. Limited memory AI, which learns from recent data. Theory of mind AI, still in development, that could understand human beliefs and emotions. And self-aware AI, purely theoretical at this point. So while Autonomous is pushing the envelope in hospitality, they're also showing you a little roadmap of how AI evolves. Last, but definitely not least, let's look at how AI is transforming grocery supply chains. And spoiler alert, it's not in a fancy hotel or on a street corner, it's in the back room of your favorite online supermarket. On April 15th, 2025, Libby Hargraves highlighted Ocado's on-grid robotic pick system, OGR for short, which blends computer vision, machine learning, and smart sensors into robotic arms that pick and pack groceries. In 2024 alone, OGR picked over 30 million individual items in Ocado's warehouses. That's not a typo, 30 million. And it's only a small number of arms too, delivering huge productivity gains. 
These arms aren't just following pre-programmed motions, they observe human demonstrators, use reinforcement learning to refine their technique based on success or failure, and employ behavior cloning to mimic the way humans handle delicate strawberries or awkward shaped jars. Each arm is bristling with sensors, cameras to identify the product and its packaging, pressure sensors to gauge grip strength so it won't crush an egg carton, and motion sensors for smooth, precise movement. And because these robots share what they learn, if one figures out how to pick a tricky pair without bruising it, that knowledge propagates across the fleet. Now, Okado is also dipping into generative AI with diffusion models. Traditionally, generative models are for art and text, but here they're used to help robots generalize skills to new items they haven't seen before. In practical terms, that means faster onboarding of new products and even finer levels of efficiency. Okado says this combo of reinforcement learning, behavior cloning, and diffusion tech is redefining supply chains worldwide, making them more resilient, adaptive, and intelligent without expanding physical warehouse space or over-relying on human labor. And that's a wrap. Robot cops in Thailand, marathon bots in Beijing, emotional Disney droids in AI hotel in Vegas, and Okado's packing arms. 2025's AI scene is bonkers. What amazes you most? Drop a comment, like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.